thing went on and on, and there were all these fucking monologues of a Middle Eastern looking man stands in spotlight telling some horror story, you know, some atrocity that took place in his village. Or women in burqas talking about honor killings, how their fathers tried to hack them to death because their brothers raped them. Excuse me, recycling? Oh, sorry. Oh, don't get up, just tell me where. Honey, cut it down. Oh, I can't when there's a mess. <laughs> the thing is, I know the people they put on stage. I know them. I've lived with them. Both of us have. So seeing them turn into these anthropologic curiosities, like dioramas in a museum bathed in this romantic Caravaggio light. What? You know, hallow the play the other night. Oh. Did you hate it too? Not as much as he did. He's like one of those miserable men you see at matinees whose wives force them at gunpoint. <laughs> it's those fucking seats. It's like you're trapped and you can never leave. I need a drink, staff. They're gone? Gone. In a town car on their way to JFK. Thank God. Who? Father. <laughs> My father and his new wife, Evita. <laughs> Is her name really Evita? Evelyn, my little joke. Oh, dumb. <laughs> you better watch it. You're going to call her Evita to her face one day. <coughs> I think I already have. <laughs> I, mean, I want to know why you went to this thing in the first place. Everybody was telling us we had to see it. Busman's holiday now. Pick up an incredible review. Oh, I saw that. Shattering, unforgettable. The place was packed. People are dying to be shattered. They'll pay a hundred bucks to be shattered. <laughs> I like musicals. I don't know why people would pay all that money to be depressed. I'm with you, kid. Oh, sit! It's your wedding! You sit! All that bending can't be good for you. Oh, I'm fine. I've been doing all this prenatal Pilates. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what I'm saying is... What are you saying? How long's it been going on like this? It's not truth, it's kitsch! Inside voice. <laughs> <laughs> Fake, sentimental shit that passes for truth. People trick themselves into thinking they're having an authentic experience when it's completely manufactured. Hell on earth made palatable. Packaged as an evening's entertainment. But people are saying it though, right? I mean, isn't that encouraging? They want to be informed? These people don't need to be informed. They read the newspaper. They listen to NPR. The ones who should be seeing it, the Mujahideen and the Taliban, well, let's face it, don't get to the theater much. <laughs> so it's that favorite lefty pastime, preaching to the choir. They sit there, weeping at the injustice, and stand at the end shouting, Bravo! Congratulating themselves for enduring such a grueling experience. Then go home feeling like they've actually done something. When in fact all they've done is assuage their liberal guilt. Are you finished? What are you saying? These stories are off limits to anyone but people like you who've been on the front line? No, of course not. They shouldn't be told at all. I don't know, Richard. I don't have the answer. Ah! So, do you want to hear what my father just said to me downstairs? His parting words? What? He said there was something unseemly about a couple who've been living in sin for nine years, throwing themselves a wedding. Fuck him. Is that what he said, living in sin? He said all it is is begging for gifts. We said no gifts. I know. If he felt compelled to give anything, he should make a donation to his favorite charity. Yeah, like the Christian Coalition. Mm -hmm. He is such an asshole. Why did I invite him? I don't know, honey. I think you still have this fantasy that one day he's going to turn into a really great guy. <laughs> well, I think your wedding was just right. I wish we had done it like this. I like what we did. A few close friends, finger food, cake, and champagne. Perfect. Your wedding was wonderful. Mm. Yeah, but it wasn't me. It was all my mother. I let her do whatever she wanted. It just wasn't worth it. She didn't freak out when I told her I was pregnant, but when I said I didn't want to have a big wedding, she was like, Thank you. Don't mention it. I'm 
I'm glad it could be useful. See? All that event planning paid off. You think? So what are you going to do about your job? Oh, work until the baby comes or till I start bumping into things. <laughs> then I'll take off like a month or so. Wouldn't it be awesome if we had babies together? That's a big if. Why? <laughs> I'm not sure I still can. I'm sure you can. I'm not. <laughs> I'm old. You're not old. Yes, I am. My OBGYN is fantastic. I bet she knows a good fertility guy. Uh, I'm not. That's okay. <laughs> well, maybe when we have our second, you'll have your first. <laughs> I, I would like to make a <laughs> What I did say earlier, I wish I had, I'm losing it already. Oh, for <laughs> sure. There are certain people in your life you not only love, you admire, who lead exemplary, if not always supportable, lives. <laughs> Sarah and Jamie, they're my golden cup. Oh, he's gotten so emotional lately, I think it's the baby. <laughs> <laughs> I've lived vicariously through you for years. I got to see the world without jet lag. <laughs> <laughs> to Sarah and Jamie, no longer living in sin. <laughs> and it's about fucking time. Here, here. <laughs> Thank you, Richard. Got something for you. We said no gifts, Just remember? Just a little something. Where did this baby come from? It was a present. From me to me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the wrapping paper is so pretty. I hate to rip it. Oh, nice. Look. Slightly out of focus. Oh, First edition, 1947. No, I've never read it. Oh, Where it's a treat. I? It really is. Oh, perfect gift, Richard. Thank you. Mm, uh, from both of us, actually. Of course. I wrapped it. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Candy. You're welcome. Great wrapping. <laughs> Captain plays pretty fast and loose with the truth, by the way. He was looking to sell his story to the movie community. Never happened. The D-Day story is true, though. The kid in the dark room really did ruin most of the negatives. Why? What happened? He was so anxious for them to dry, he turned up the heat on the dryer. Oh my god, you're kidding! Famous boo-boo. So, uh, how's our book coming? It's coming. When do I get to see what you've written? Soon. Have you seen it? Not me. It's not like I haven't been working on it. I have been. Well, I know you guys have had a lot on your mind. Don't look at me. My work is done. I stayed out of your way, haven't I? Yes, Richard. Give me plenty of time to get it together. Well, now I'm cracking the whip. I mean, what else do you have on your plate right now? I'm expanding that horror movie piece I did into a book. Well, too bad. Ours should be in first position. It is. I can go back and forth between the two. No more screwing around. I'm not screwing around. I need around. it by Friday. What? Or we're going to miss the spring list. Read the Kappa book. Maybe it'll inspire you. <laughs> oh, I get it. What a subtle guy. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Hey, whatever happened to my refugee piece? That's enough. Well, it's my wedding day. It's my wedding day, too, and I'd appreciate it if the groom wasn't shit-faced. Hey, Sarah, let me ask you something. Do you think you're ready to go back to work? Uh, well, that depends on what you have in mind. There's an open assignment I thought you'd be right for. What is it? We're doing a piece on a daycare center at a women's prison. <laughs> we need someone to shoot it. Oh, wow. You're the first person I thought of. Everybody loved the idea. Uh, the story's already been assigned, or else I would have... When would you need it? As soon as possible. Sometime this week. This week? I know, it's such short notice, but it literally came out the other night. You up for it? Where is it? Not far, two hours at most, depending on traffic. You could easily do it in a day. Getting there might be a bit of a challenge. I, I can get you there. We'll rent a car. Well, I'll get her there. I'll hire a car to bring her up and take her back. <coughs> Still a little shaky. I don't know how I feel about her taking off on her own like If she wants an assistant, we'll send an intern. Jesus! Would you two <laughs> stop talking about me as if I weren't here? Sorry. It's a good fit for you. Just the sort of story you should be doing. There are great stories right here, you know, right outside your door. Oh, I get it. This is part of your Keep Sarah Home initiative. Sue me. Well, it might help me get my sea legs back. What if you fell? What if you re-injured yourself? I'm not going to fall. How do you know? It would feel pretty stupid, wouldn't it? After all the progress we've made. I was just on the stairs all by myself, and I You're just fine. You're just with these stairs. Look, I'm just thinking about it, okay? You don't have to tell me right this minute. I don't need to think about it. I want to do it. Great. That's wonderful. Everybody will be thrilled. Thanks a lot.
What? She isn't ready. I can do it. I want to give it a try. It's too much too soon. Think of it as part of a rehab. Well, what do you know about rehab? It could be dangerous going out too soon. I'm talking about Westchester. Come on, Jamie. You're overreacting. If anything happens to her, Honey, I... Honey, you're getting maudlin. So are you ever going to tell me what the deal is with my refugee piece or what? What? Did you think I forgot about it? No. Does it have a date yet or not? Look, let's not talk business, okay? My mistake. I should never have brought it up. It's not going to run, is it? Jamie, let's not get into this, okay? Fuck. How long have you known? A week or so. A week? When were you... Did you know? No. When were you planning on telling me? You were getting married for Christ's sake. I didn't want to spoil things. That was great. I just one of the best things I know. Ever. It was. Absolutely. Oh, thanks. Everybody agreed it was an excellent, excellent piece. So you killed it. Jane. Are you in the habit of killing excellent stories? It wasn't my decision. It was an editorial decision. Well, oh, yeah, right. Well, why did not you just take it somewhere else? The Harper's or the It's Atlantic too late. Or... Don't worry, you'll get your full fee. I don't give a shit about my fee. What happened? The usual bullshit. Scheduling? It was all a matter of timing. They've had it for months. I know. They've been sitting on it for months. And that was part of the problem. It shelf life expired. And whose fault was that? Jamie. It was on the board, then it was off, then they wanted to cut it. Cut it! I already cut it. I knew you had a word. Fit. So I got them to leave the length alone and bump it a week. But then they had to bump it three weeks because the week after that was a special issue. What special issue? The annual Hollywood issue. <laughs> <laughs> the Hollywood issue. That's a big one for us. All the movie studios buy a shitload of advertising space. <laughs> no, 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 don't laugh. The ad revenue from that one issue helps us stay afloat all year. But then we realized we couldn't run your story the week after that. Why not? Because we'd already committed to a cover story on relief workers in Africa. You're kidding me. You know how it works. You Come can't on. have relief workers in Africa and Iraqi refugees at the same issue? What is their quota? It wasn't my call. Bullshit! You sold me out! Jamie. We go to these fucking hellholes, put our lives on the line for what? Stories that nobody wants! That's not true, nobody wants that. true for me! You're a star. Someone will always publish your pictures. Me, I, I peddle stories like a traveling salesman. Pieces get killed or cut to shreds. Editorial has the final say what goes in the magazine. Not me. You are in the room. Sitting there. I'm only the photo editor for Christ's sake. Yeah, right. The only reason I'm telling you is because you're my friend. I didn't want you to hear about it from somebody else. Well, thanks a lot, buddy. Listen, I fight at work every fucking day. Every fucking day is another battle. I go into these staff meetings, everybody's got their own agenda. The fashion people, the style people, we're all fighting for the same goddamn space. Somewhere in there between the ads for imported silk lingerie and $20 million condos, maybe I'll get four pages on boy mercenaries in Uganda. Six, if I'm lucky. So don't tell me how I sold you out. You talk out of both sides of your mouth, you know that? Jamie. You're the reporter's advocate one minute, one of them the next. Come on, Jamie, that's not fair. Who are you really, huh, my friend? Just another suit. Stop it! Richard agonized over this. Honey. He was sick about it for days. He couldn't sleep. He loved you. Why would he want to hurt you? I mean, really, he's only doing his job. They have a magazine to put out, and it has to have different things in it, not just stories about how miserable most of the world is. So, they're not gonna print your story. Too bad. They've already got a bummer story running that week. Excuse me? <laughs> no, look, I mean it. I'm really sorry. I bet you worked really hard what on it. What the fuck do you know? Hey, hundreds of thousands of lives are on the line. That's why I write these fucking things. People need to know! But what am I supposed to do with this information? Be an ordinary person! It, it's not like I can do anything about it. Besides, feel bad and turn the page and thank God I was born in half the world where people have food to eat and don't go around hacking each other to death. The people who are killing each other have always been killing each other and terrible things are always going to happen. So, so what's you can ask stop whining and do something for Christ's sake. Right, don't enough. just throw your hands in the air and say, oh dear little me, I'm powerless. I can't do anything. Jeez. Stop. Oh. <sighs> I'll call you tomorrow. You know what I wish?
wish. There's so much beauty in this world, but you only see misery. Both of you. I, I wish you just let yourself feel the joy, you know? Otherwise, what's the point? <laughs>